Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on with Timmy. Usually Timmy's a very friendly robot that just sits there and looks pretty, but I just recently updated him and maybe the company decided to add an attitude feature where Timmy's just going out and just basically causing mayhem. Anyways, so today we got a brand new well, vacuum and Timmy's basically pushing this little guy around. He's telling this little guy to go clean the kitchen area. Well, I actually tell the, tell the robot vacuum to go clean the bedroom area. But we'll see if Timmy and this new robot vacuum can get along. Or if they're just going to continue to have issues with each other. Well, before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to my videos. It really does help out my channel and also my video ranking. Also, if you have any questions about Timmy or these robot vacuums, Feel free to shoot a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this new well vacuum. Model. And this particular model has extra long side brushes, also has a dedicated wide mopping pattern, and of course I like to throw everything I can at these guys to see how well they react in the real world. So it's going to my home here and you can see it's kind of hung up on his chair, but it's smart enough to back down and figure out an optimal path to not get stuck. Hey guys, how's it going? Staking here, Lord Masters. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. And in this video, we got a brand new product from Grellme Tech Life. This is their Lana Base for a vacuum. So, I live a very active lifestyle. I work a lot. I also play with the kids, go on hikes and stuff. And sometimes I'm not always around to be able to do the chores like vacuuming, mopping. Well, these products are great for that because they can go out vacuum certain areas, you can tell it to mop certain areas without having to attend to them because they're pretty smart. With this particular model, this thing has 3000 pascals, also has a 5200 milliamp hour battery, so it's able to cover your entire area, and if it runs out of juice, you can always tell it to go back to its dock station, charge up, and it will resume exactly where it left off. Now, some additional features, is it does have the customized home cleaning pad, so what that means is if you have a certain room, like the kitchen area, you can tell it to just mop that area. Or let's say, for example, you have the living room area with carpeting, you can just tell it to just vacuum that area. Oh, is this little box? Well, this is the mopping kit, which is sold separately. So you can actually buy a mopping kit if you want to vacuum and mop. Okay, so this little guy is actually smarter than he looks. So basically, this guy has LiDAR navigation, and with LiDAR, you can tell it to go clean a specific area. Of course, Timmy wants to be the smartest robot out there, so he decides to bully the little guy once again. But we'll see which one's faster at going back to the station. Is it Timmy, or is it the Realme Tech Real Life? Alright, so I know you're probably not going to be pushing this robot vacuum like the way Timmy does, but if you do have to physically move the robot to a new area to clean, or to do empty out the dustbin, they are capable of relocating themselves and going back to the docking station and now it's just a test of how well it actually works. So it looks like the Realme Tech Life and Timmy are pretty close head to head. We'll see exactly which one reaches the docking station first. So I do recommend reading the instruction manual and they usually provide a quick start guide as well. And this kind of tells you how to start up the app and there's a QR code in the back. So it makes pairing process very easy. And here's a look at the instruction manual. It's pretty basic but it works. It kind of tells you how far away you should keep the docking station away from the walls. It tells you the side brushes, how to install them. And there's the QR code again for the Realme Link app. So very, very nice. Okay, so this is a pretty nice presentation. You do have the filter right here. You also have the charging grip. Foam protectors. So third shipment, uh, the bumper doesn't get damaged. And here's the protector of the infrared sensors. So in the back here is the dust tank. I believe this is a 600 milliliter dust box. Look how large that is. You also have the two-in-one 300 milliliter water tank and 350 milliliter dust tank in this box. So pretty standard looking docking station. Remove the plastic. So it looks like we can wrap the cable around underneath here. So I really like that. It's a nice touch and it does have some nice anti-slip feet. So it looks like we do have a cleaning tool and we also have two extra side brushes. And notice how large the bristles are. This is probably one of the largest side brushes I've seen on a well, vacuum. And that's basically everything there. 
Okay, so let's have a look at that interface here. It's a pretty simple interface. A lot of these robot vacuums just stick with two buttons. So for example, if I hold down the power button, it turns off the robot. But also if the robot's turned on, press it once, we will actually go do a cleaning job. Now for the home button, press it once, goes back to home. But if I hold down the home button, it goes in the spot clean function. So that's pretty cool. I don't know, I like the three button layout where it's easier to access the spot function, but two buttons, I guess, works all right. Okay, so one thing I want to show you is the way you can swap out the dustbin. Dustbin removed. This is the 600 meter little dustbin. And you may notice the filter here. It's a non-washable filter. It's just a, a regular filter here. But I find it's pretty easy just to vacuum out the filter and all the dust and debris. But you may notice the secondary dustbin water tank. So this is a 300 ml water tank with a 350 ml dustbin. And yes, the dustbin actually can come out. So for example, let's say you have to dry out the dustbin, you can still mop. And the robot vacuum can mop, it can vacuum, or it can do both simultaneously. So lastly, let's take a look at the mopping pad here. So this is the washable mopping pad, comfort too. Really easy to, just to clean out or just throw in your wash and dryer. But you also have several of these disposable mopping pads. Looks very similar to like the EcoVac style, so you could probably just buy EcoVacs and use their mopping pads and stuff. Okay, so here's a look at the interface. It's a multicolored map to represent the different rooms. And yes, I can change the different water levels. And I do have the option to vacuum, mop, or vacuum and mop. Now, if I jump into the settings and jump into the mop path, I can see the different path options. I can do Y-shaped path or S-shaped path. This also applies to the vacuuming as well. So I could technically do a Y-shaped vacuuming, which is kind of interesting. All right, let's go and jump into my kitchen area. And we'll see how well this guy does. So like with a lot of these raw vacuums, they start with the primer, then they fill in that primer with a back and forth clean pound. Alright, let's go and take a look at the app. So like I mentioned, if you go onto that setting, you could go to uh, mop only, you can do vacuum only. So with this mode, it's fairly quiet, I'll kind of show you here. Well, did you catch that pop-up? Basically what it's saying, I'll show you again. Uh, you have to have the dustbin installed, even though this is a two-in-one dust tank, you gotta have that 600 ml dust tank if you want to just do vacuuming only. But I did realize that you can do a Y mopping pattern and a Y vacuum pattern, which I'll show you when I was doing the spot clean function. I'm not 100% sure if that was just an error, but it was just kind of interesting nevertheless. Okay, so I actually do like the wide mopping pattern because I think having a dedicated mopping pattern, kind of like on the Bravo Jet M6, where it goes back and forth in a cleaning area, really helps with the mopping performance and allows it to kind of scrub the area. Now, I'm not 100% sure why other companies don't follow suit. I know when you're using wide mopping pattern, it does take longer. I think it took about 18 minutes, where most of vacuums can clean this kitchen area in about 10 minutes. So one thing that Realme Tech Real Life stated in the app is that it will take more battery life or more power. And yes, that's true. You're not going to be able to cover a larger area when doing a wide mopping pattern. But I did find that you do have to replace the water and also the mopping pad after about a thousand square feet if you are trying to mop that large area.
Okay, let's talk about some of the quirks about this Royal Vacuum. Even though I do appreciate the dual side brushes and they're very long, they do tend to spin a little too quickly. Especially in the open areas, they like to scatter the debris around, push it underneath like the refrigerator and stuff. Now, one thing to note is these side brushes do get kind of bunched up on carpeted areas. Uh, that's something I've seen on like the iRobot Roomba S9. I know maybe side brushes aren't important on carpeted areas, but it's just something to note. So one thing I like is the fact that it does a crisscross pattern, so it does in one direction then rotates 180 degrees and kind of goes in the opposite direction. Now this is something that's very useful, especially if you have a lot of obstacles or in a concentrated area you want a better cleaning job. Alright, so this was a pretty interesting row of vacuum where I can actually do a wide vacuuming pattern. Not sure if this was just a fluke or if this was something that they actually added on, but it was kind of a cool feature. Now, you do have the option to just do the regular vacuuming pattern, and for the mopping, you do have that as well. So, just one thing to note is you do have to buy the water tank separately. It is an added cost, but maybe they felt like they can keep the price down if they just didn't offer the mopping system. But you can go on their website and buy that if you want. Alright, so in terms of the features, it has everything you expect from a high-end roll of vacuum. You got the electronically controlled bopping system with different water levels. You have room select, area select. You can rename the rooms. You also have name sequencing. In the scheduling, you can tell the roll of vacuum to clean the area at a specific time. There's a whole bunch of features, but they didn't really skimp on the features. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I'll give you my final thoughts on the Realme Realtek Roar Real Vacuum. So overall, this is a pretty nice Roar Real Vacuum. And if you're the type of person that wants every app feature in a book, well, this Roar Real Vacuum doesn't disappoint. Now, in the application, you have basically everything you possibly want, from being able to control the water flow, the vacuum levels. Also, you can do Y mopping, you can do S mopping. You can basically assign different vacuum levels, water levels to each room, to the scheduling app. You have a remote control feature. Basically, the list goes on and on. It's almost as feature rich as like the Roblox S7 minus the self emptying bin feature. Okay, so if you have any questions about these Roblox vacuums or if you want to know more about these Roblox vacuums, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Now, not every Roblox vacuum will be right for you. Even the world's best Roblox vacuum may not be suitable for you. So it's really good to kind of ask me uh, what type of floor plan you have and I'll be able to help analyze what's the best Roblox vacuum for you. All right, so have a great rest of your day and thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right, see you later.